from undressed blocks, rocks, and stone, and set in place without mortar, a site believed to be 550 years old, one of the largest and best massive dry stone wall enclosures in Kenya. Captivating, right? Timlichohinga Archaeological World Heritage Site it is, situated in Migori County, Nyatike Sub-County. The word derived from a little word, Timlich meaning the frightening dense forest, and Ohinga, a large fortress. On the lake brings to you the incredible tales of the routeway to this god site. About a mile away, I start my walk on a sunny day, a muddy road, Stagnant water on the sides, probably left due to erosion from the heavy rains experience, reels on the sides. For some time my eyes will get used to this green environment, with scattered settlements and diverse species of trees. Generally, it's a rugged terrain. When the fear takes it over and you can breathe, when the from a distance, kids happily graze their cattle. This could have been a fruitful journey if not for the road which is in a poor condition, with water-filled potholes and exposed rocks. This questions the leadership of the area. That a road that leads to a scenic site is poor stands absurd. From the look, it is evident that a vehicle must have to struggle to pass through here. Even pedestrians like I are not left out. You have to really calculate your steps lest you knock your foot. The vast land on the side is mainly covered oh. by shrubs. <laughs> this makes it possible yeah. for livestock farming and it reflects a cultural tradition developed by the Luo pastoral community. Residents in this area, especially the grazers, are prone to waterborne diseases like malaria. This is due to the stagnant water on the road. Though a beautiful environment, the poor road spoils it all. Look at the dirty water, mud, visible rocks. No, quite alarming. Yeah. <laughs> no. oh, yeah, yeah. Nearby is a signboard of a school. The very first I'm meeting on my way. Also, residents here enjoy the beautiful view of the hill. I'm made to understand it's called Gogo Hills. See? Splendid. The dilapidated road, leaving an alleyway only for pedestrians and motorcycles. Mixed farming turns out to be widely practiced here. Here is a farm of sukuma wiki, some tomatoes and plenty of maize. Motorcycles and vehicles are a rare occurrences in this road. I told you earlier about the kind of plantations they have, the captivating gogo hills, from a, distance. a bit of shrubs like sisal plantations, nature at its best with trees, the beautiful sky, chopping of birds. Wow, this smells like a good read. One of the places you would go for a nature walk. By the roadside is a linear settlement. It is not always a busy road. But once in a while, a vehicle 
or vehicles passes by. I don't know whether you see some dust. This tree is small, but in case of prolonged sunshine, it is worse. We are also nearing the site. And you can see some lorry. Here is the junction. And a signboard. A signboard reading 200 meters to go. The presence of the museum has given birth to self-employment around the area. People do jobs like breaking of stones for building, commonly known as kokoto. We are almost nearing the museum. But look at the road. Very, very poor. Under normal circumstances, we would expect a tarmac road. That, however, isn't the case with this. Those are sheep, in case you've never seen one. <laughs> Here we go. Notice that we haven't seen any tarmac trod since we started. And here we are at the gate. The signboard. The gate from a distance. I hope you can see it. The National Museum of Kenya. A world heritage site. Really, something should be done. Who is the MP? Who is the area MCA? Who is the governor? Just a window gaze and, oh my, the place is cool. This is a museum you can visit and trust me, you will enjoy. Let me please get your comments concerning the state of this road that leads to a world heritage site, Thimlich Ohinga Museum, located in Migori County. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do like and share.